Can you live stream to both YouTube and Facebook at the same time? Well, <laughs> yes, Virginia, you can, or Bob, or whatever your name is. But the point is, you can, and it's really, really easy. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to live stream to both YouTube and Facebook using two of my favorite, absolute favorite live streaming platforms, StreamYard and Ecamm Live. I'm gonna put links to both of those down in the description. If you don't have one, Ecamm Live has a free trial, StreamYard has a free plan, but you can also upgrade to the paid plans and you can do more with those. So let's start out with StreamYard. Okay, so when you go to StreamYard, first thing you would do is go to destinations over on the left and these are the ones that I already have that I'm connected to. And you can see there's a bunch of them. Now, if you don't see your place that you wanna to go to, and right now we're really just talking about YouTube and Facebook, you just go to add a destination. And here you'll see all the different ways and different places you can live stream to. So it's really easy just to add one and sign in. Okay, so when you're ready, click on create. And since we're talking about live streaming, you want to hit live stream. Now you have the option to live stream a pre-recorded video, but let's just say right now we're going to go live. And here is where you could pick your destination. So again, we're going to say Facebook and we're going to add YouTube. So those are my two channels right here. I would give it a title. Say, hey. Now you have the option of scheduling later and you can customize for each destination. So if you see that, you'll see this right here. You can add your description there. You can schedule later there. The same thing for YouTube as well. So when you do all that, then you create your live stream. So when you get to this page, you can add your name right here. So if you're already logged in, it's gonna say that. You can check your mic and your camera here. Go ahead and enter the studio. So now we're in the StreamYard studio and you wanna be right up in here. I have a background on there. You wanna come all the way down here, click add to stage. When you see yourself there, you're good to go, except now you have to hit go live. So all the way up here in the corner, you'll notice right here, here's my Facebook and here's YouTube. We've already pre-chosen those and you could still come in here at this point and edit those, you could even remove. So it, if you wanna make some changes here, you're not so boxed in, same thing with there. But when you're ready, you hit go live and you'll be live. So when your live stream is over on StreamYard, what you do, you go back to this kind of your homepage here and you've got a couple of different places you can find it. So you wanna to go to past and any of your live streams will be here. They'll also, your recordings will be here. You can also go to your library and you'll find them right here. And this is where you can do a lot of cool things like edit, you can restream it, you can download it, but this is where you would find it either in your library or past. Oh, speaking of live streaming, I was just sitting here reading my book, Live Streaming Made Easy, which just happens to be available on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. So you might wanna consider picking up a copy of this. I wrote it so it's so easy to read in a day and possibly be live streaming the next day. So there it is. Pick up your copy right now. Now, Ecamm is a little different. It's a little bit more advanced, but it kind of works the same way in terms of we wanna make sure our destinations are set up. So to do that, you go to the little gear icon right here, and you wanna come over to, I think it's the fifth tab, destinations. Now, if you don't see where you want to go here, you can go and add destination. Again, right now, we're just talking about Facebook and YouTube. So right now, you can see that I'm logged into X, and my YouTube channel and my Facebook profile. This is my page and this is just a group. So if those are all groovy, then you're ready to go. So something I forgot to mention, both StreamYard and Ecamm allow you just to record as well. You don't have to always go live. I've used both just to record as well. And here's why I wanna point that out. So right now in Ecamm, if you notice right here, it says record at the bottom. So if I were to hit that, I would only be recording. You wanna come up here and notice I have stream turned off. You actually have these options, virtual, camera, record, and stream. I wanna make sure stream is turned on. And if you notice, it changed to new. So I could go over here, click new, and now you get this box right here. And right now it's only gonna to go to YouTube, but we can change that and we can add Kevin Colby right there. So now I can go to YouTube and Facebook. So I'm gonna give this a title. I'll just call it the same thing as I did on the StreamYard thing. And we can say description, say, hey, world. And you can always add this later. You can change the privacy here. So right now it's unlisted there, but if you wanted to go live and everybody see it, you wanna make sure it's public there. 
Some of this I just don't bother with, but you have that option. You can always schedule it for later, or you can go live now. If you're ready to go live, you hit go live and you'll be live. Now, Ecamm is a little different. It will save a copy of your live stream, but it's gonna put it somewhere. So like, for example, I have a five terabyte external drive that I keep mine in. There's a folder here called Ecamm Recording. So anytime I use Ecamm to record or live stream, I'll automatically find that copy right here. You can take that and then upload it into like, I edit on Final Cut Pro or download it or restream it if you wanted to. Now, something to remember while you're multi-streaming is no two platforms are the same. So Facebook and YouTube have really different privacy rules and even the way people engage with that. So just keep that in mind. But I tell you, it is fun to do. It is a great way just to get your message out there to more and more people. So when you hit that live button, have a ton of fun.